Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. This video demonstrates how to clone a remote, non-container database to create a new pluggable database. This feature was added in 12.102. If you've seen the video on cloning a remote pluggable database, this should look very familiar. We start by connecting to the non-container database. We then create a user, which we'll use for a database link later. The user needs the create session and create pluggable database privileges. We need to make sure the remote non-container database is in read-only mode. This requires a restart of the database. With the remote database prepared, we can now connect to the local container database and create a database link. The clone operation looks similar to remote cloning a pluggable database, but notice the from clause. We don't have a pluggable database name to clone from, so we use non $CDB. At this point, we'd normally open the new pluggable database in read write mode to complete the registration, but since this wasn't originally a pluggable database, we have to perform a cleanup step first. We do this by switching to the new pluggable database and running the non CDB to PDB script. Running the script took about 6 minutes on this test pluggable database, so I've sped up this part of the clip. Now we can open the pluggable database in read write mode to complete the registration with the root container. To complete the process, we should restart the non-container database so it's in read-write mode again. Let's clean up by closing and dropping the new pluggable database. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.